Welcome to the presentation of my diploma thesis, a robot called Alfred. First, we will discuss the robot in general, the way he moves and the principles he's based on. Then, a short introduction into the electronic control is given. Finally, the mechanical system including pneumatics and vacuum technology is presented. Additionally, the patent is presented. The robot is capable of climbing any wall with a more or less flat surface. By carrying tools, he can then for example clean or paint the surface he is standing on. The inclination of the wall is of no matter because he is fixed by vacuum. The basic principle of the robot is that he has two systems which can move independently from each other. Furthermore, one of these systems has the ability to rotate. The outer system is now highlighted in green. The inner system, which you can find in the middle of the robot, is additionally equipped with ball bearings which enable the rotation. Let's take a look at the robot while he moves. At first, the inner system moves to its start position. After that, the robot starts to move at working speed. The inner system stays at its position just until the outer system is almost at the end of its way. Now, the robot starts to change its systems. Please note that the robot is moving on steadily all the time. After having found secure contact with the surface, the robot releases the outer system and moves it to its starting position. The process you've just seen now continues on and on. The robot doesn't have to stop at any time. After reaching the end of the surface, the robot decides in which direction to turn. The robot has an angle of 90 degrees. In this case, the robot first turns the inner system and then moves the robot. By using this way of moving, the robot can reach any point on a surface. He can even step over small obstacles, as there's a lot of space between the suction caps and the surface. All modules are driven by a Texas Instruments MSP430 processor, which has an ideal specification for this application. A big memory up to 60 kilobytes, various input and output ports with special function registers, hardware controlled serial communication. Using the embedded workbench from IR Systems, onboard programming and debugging was possible. The time for software development and implementation was minimized by the optimal combination of the IR tools. The main control coordinates all processes. User interaction is granted by a display and a small keyboard. The motor control is divided into two boards, motor driver and power stage. This combination has its own intelligence and drives currents up to 4 amperes and 48 volts. The relay board switches supply voltage for external loads such as pneumatic valves, lights and motors. The current state is indicated by light emitting diodes. The sensor board provides the main control with all the information which is necessary to correctly guide the robot over the surface. Music 
Data is transferred using the universal serial bus. The main control initiates the communication and selects a module by sending its network address. This address can be adjusted at each board using an address selector. After the board was activated, the main control sends out its commands. The whole system has been entirely developed without any third party involved. This means layouting the PCB, etching, soldering and testing the assembly. Furthermore, all of the software modules have been independently developed using the IR workbench. The robot is driven by step motors which already have a gear. The force is then transmitted by a toothed belt to a ball bearing spindle. Finally, there's the result motion on the linear guides. The pneumatic and the vacuum system are very important things to fix the robot on the surface. The stroke of the cylinders determine of what size obstacles may be which can be overcome. On each system, up to six suction caps can establish connection to the surface. Currently, four suction caps per system are mounted. Finally, I want to present you some extra information about the patent I handed in. As far as I found out, the way of the robot to move on is completely new. It can move steadily all the time and the mainframe of the robot doesn't alter his height above the ground. I worked out the patent specification myself and presented it at the patent office. Right now I'm waiting for them to decide whether the patent is granted or not. Decision is estimated for the end of 2002. There have been a lot of presentations, either at companies which supported me or in public. All the time the robot could prove that its principle was quite right. People of various professions closely examined the robot and were convinced by its system. Right now media interest is growing. There have been releases in newspapers and even a team from a television station showed up to put the robot in first place in the local news. More to come? For sure. Right now I'm heading towards Grenoble to make a double diploma. As far as possible I'd like to earn a doctorate in 2003 after these two semesters in France. Thank you for your attention and see you soon, maybe with Alfred on your rooftop.